This is Twit. A lot of odd stories this week. Uh, you know, a, a lot of follow-ups up to Computex. Um, one of the big announcements, uh, Intel going to compete with with NVIDIA and AMD because I think Intel has been executing so flawlessly on so many fronts, they needed to open up another front with two of the most competitive uh, companies in technology. Did I say that out loud? I'm so sorry. Um, but uh, you wrote up for MarketWatch uh, that uh, Brian Kazanich confirmed that they're going to ship their first discrete graphics chip in 2020. I'm going to flat out ask, do you believe that's even remotely possible? They they brought in some pretty serious talent uh, from AMD. Um, yep. But, you know, I think the word you used was aggressive, and I think you were being euphemistic in your choice of that word. Uh, a little bit, perhaps. <clears throat> um, so if we, if we base this on, uh, I think, a three-year cycle of ground up GPU design, you know, release, you know, from from hey, we should do a GPU to hey, there's a GPU for sale. Uh, three years is pretty good, and I would say three to four years is probably on average. Um, you get a little bit of a head start because of the people you bring in at Intel, and you probably chances are there were already people at Intel working down down this direction, and then the people that would come in would say, hey, let's change this, let's modify this, let's mm -hmm. let's you know, drastically change. They could have said, actually, this is all crap. Start over from zero. Or they could have said, okay, this is a good base. You've saved us six months of work. Let's go from here. So I think I think three years is still reasonable. And if you look at, um, you know, Raja came over in what, November of 2017. So November of 2020 still counts as 2020. And that would be your three year out from his specific arrival. Um, so I, I, I'd still say, yes, it's aggressive. But... I think it's I think it's feasible, and it's also uh, I think I think Intel needs to be aggressive in this in this mm -hmm. spot, right? They are well behind everybody, and by well behind, I mean they don't have an option at all. So they're very far behind. Uh, people who I don't want anybody tweeting at me. Yes, Intel used to make discrete video cards back in the day of like 2002, mm -hmm. you know, 1998, that type of stuff, but not not in this not in this type of thing. Um, and the other thing that, that BK said at this analyst meeting was that 2020 was going to happen. That was their target. And uh, that they were both going to build for consumer and enterprise spaces. And that was kind of always assumed, but it was never really specifically stated. That consumer, right. which would cover gaming, it would cover you know notebooks, it would cover professional visualization, like the Quadro competition. And then your enterprise, your machine learning, your AI all those emerging workloads there. So that was also new. Um, I, 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 think, I think it makes sense. I think probably why would they tell us now? There were some people who were commenting, why would you pre-announce something like this that far in advance? And I think a lot of that comes from, uh, there had been a lot of rumors a month or two ago that, oh, Intel's going to have, they're going to launch their GPU product at CES 2019, which is you know in less than six months. And that was, it was never a feasible option. It was always kind of crazy to talk like that, but the rumor mill had started to churn up and was, was mm -hmm. solidifying into this, into this avenue. And so I think for them, it was as much of a, we need to control this story now. It's going to blow up. And what they didn't want it to be was right. Intel delays, GPU release, Intel delays, GPU release, et cetera. When in reality, they're always planning on this particular timetable. So now it's out there. Now we know, now there's no question about it. Um, and now, well, now there's no question about timing, but now there's a ton of questions about which one are they going to do first? Are they going to do like a mid-range part? Are they going to do a high-end right. part? Are they going to target, you know, gamers or enterprise? It probably makes sense to start with AI machine learning because that's where your biggest threat is from NVIDIA, right? Like Intel is not threatened by GeForce and Radeon because they're not in that space. They are threatened by Tesla machine learning AI because that's going into their enterprise space. So that's one reason to go there. There's much higher margins there, right? So if you if you if you have difficulty making these first rounds of chips, then mm -hmm. it's okay. You can make up for it because of that higher margin that you get to charge. Whereas with the gaming, the gaming is where you go where uh, when you know your architecture, you know how how things are yielding and you have your software set up exactly right. That's where the uh, you know, hey, if you're four or five percent behind 
you know, a GeForce part or Radeon part, you're going to get smacked around for it pretty dramatically. That's where that that story is. So they need to make sure they have everything else in line before they get there. But uh, I mean, 2020 is not that far, right? Technically only 18 months away. Um, but that gives them up to, what is that? Uh, plus, plus six more. So 24 months total to kind of get there a little bit beyond that. So.